Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. We're going to open our Bibles up today and look at Psalm 22, verses 9 and 10. Hey, listen, if you haven't been out to uh, the Bible Bistro webpage yet, please go and do that right away. Check it out. It's found at my-dailydose.com. That's my, M-Y, with a dash afterwards and before the daily. And daily dose is all one word run together, dot com. You know how all that works. And so just enter that into your search bar of whatever browser you're using, and you'll be magically transported as if on a magic carpet to the doorway of the Bible Bistro. And there you will find all kinds of great devotional content. Well, I say great, but you can decide that for yourself. There are books. There's my poetry there. There's the daily blog. We're going to have something new coming up in the Bible Bistro real soon, and that is we're launching a new uh, playlist on our YouTube channel. And I will be linking that to the uh, website. So check that out. That's going to be called Questions. And I'm going to be dealing with some difficult questions that the church is facing in our generation. And I hope you'll check that out. There's already one uh, questions video. So if you want to go to the YouTube page, just enter in typey type The Bible Bistro on the YouTube search bar, and you'll find it. It'll come right up. And once you're there, Just check out the playlist entitled Questions. There's one video already there, and that'll kind of give you a flavor for what we're going to look at and do with that particular series of podcasts. These are all going to be video podcasts, so check them out. Let's look today, verses 9 and 10, here in Psalm 22. For you have drawn me from the womb. From upon my mother's breasts have I trusted. Upon you I have been cast from the womb. You are my God from my mother's womb. All right, what do we have here that sounds the same every time? With all, with almost all four stanzas of these two couplets, we have the same word used three of the four times, and that is the word womb. From the womb, from the womb, and there in ten, and my mother's womb also at the end of ten. The only difference is in 9, my mother's breasts have I trusted. From upon my mother's breasts have I trusted. So remember who's speaking here. This is Christ. He is telling us about himself in a way because here he's remembering Bethlehem, and so should we. We should remember Bethlehem and Mary, who gave birth to this little baby boy. And can you just imagine that birthing scene when that baby is born and given to mom, and he's laid upon her chest and begins to nurse. So from his birth, he has been trusting the Lord from the womb. And this repeat of the womb three times in four, in four of these stanzas, three of the four times, it tells us that Jesus is trying to describe the fact that he is fully human. He's fully man. And, you know, that's one of the most ancient um, declarations of theology in the church is that Jesus is fully God and fully man. There is a union that took place between those two. There is not one inch of difference between the degrees because he is fully God and he is fully man. And both of those are realized in only one person, and that is Jesus Christ. That is why he was the only one to go to the cross that could go to the cross and die for the sins of all men because he was without sin, he was fully man, he was fully God, and on the cross his blood atones and avails for every single one who will believe from that time forward until the very present and into the future. And it also covers all of those saints in the past who believed and looked to the cross. They looked to the cross through the altar and through their sacrifices and through their faith and through the promises of God. They looked to the cross for that redemption. He provides it on the cross, and he could only do it if he was both 
fully God and fully man. And so Jesus tells us here, through our author David, that he was fully man because he's remembering Bethlehem and his birth. All right. Join me again next week. We're going to look at verses 11 through 20 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.